Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can display how actual values met a goal or met a target. So I'm going to show two examples of how we can visually display whether some actuals met a target. So let's say for example we had a monthly goal here, 175, and uh, maybe these are sales values or sales figures for the first quarter, January, February, March. Uh, this example uses conditional formatting to display if uh, it met a goal of 175. So for example, maybe in uh, February, let's change that. It met a goal. Maybe uh, that was a mistake. We uh, made that 175 exactly. So it turns green and it indicates that it met a goal and yellow indicates what, that it did not meet a goal. So that's one way we can do uh, using conditional format to see visually in a table how values, uh, targets, or actuals met a target. Another way that we can show actuals to a goal or target is by using spark lines. And this is the win-loss spark line. Now basically a spark line is a mini chart within a cell. So for example, let's say uh, February I changed this to 175.2. And then once I change that, you can see now uh, the goal has been met. So green indicates it's met, red indicates that it's not met for that month. So let me go ahead and show you how we can create uh, these two examples. So here I'm in sheet two and I'm going to show you the first example using conditional formatting. So basically what we need to do is we need to select our range of cells and under the home tab in the styles group we go to conditional formatting. So let me go ahead and click conditional formatting and I'm just going to go ahead and, and bring up the new rule window. So under the new rule window, I'm going to format cells that contain. And so the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do two uh, rules. And first one is going to be the cell that is greater uh, or equal to uh, this value, 175. And then I'm going to format that green. All right, and click OK, uh, click OK. And then let me go ahead and go back into uh, uh, manage. You, you can, we can go to new rules or we can go to manage rules since we already have a, a rule. I'm just going to do another new rule. And I'm going to go ahead and say format only contains. And I'm going to say this cell value. If these cell values are less than uh, this value, I'm going to format that yellow. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Uh, click OK. And now you notice that it's worked. So anything less than 175 is yellow, anything greater or equal to 175 is green. So if I go to conditional formatting and I look at uh, my rules, I manage rules, you can see that I have two rules here. So uh, it's indicating that uh, anything yellow for anything under, uh, the, under the value of B1 here, which is 175, greater than or equal to B1, which is 175, we have our green. So these are the two rules that are in effect uh, for these range of cells. So my next example is going to be using spark lines. So with spark lines, basically I would need to create another table that in a way links to this table. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy uh, this range, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. I'm going to go ahead and hide this these uh, columns, but first I need to create a formula that will reference anything of the values here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this range of cells and that's the active cell here, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. And once I uh, create the formula here, I can just press Control Enter, and that particular formula will apply uh, respectively for all the cells. So I'm going to go ahead and type equals uh, this value. If this value is, wait, actually I have to start it with if formula, if, and then tab to open parentheses, if this value, so January for Bob, uh, aligns to that January for Bob, if that is greater than or equal to that cell, and I have to press the F4 key to make that a relative cell reference, because once this, once I press Control Enter, this formula will copy to the other cells, and since there's no dollar signs in front of the H and five, it will look for the relative uh, cell reference of the next cell or the cell that it links to. If this has dollar signs in front of it, that means when I copy it over to any other cell. That is an absolute cell reference. So the dollar signs in front of the letter and the one in front, in front of the number indicate that no matter where you copy to, it's always going to refer to that particular cell. So once that's set here, that's my logical test. So if that's true, what I want to do is make that a positive one. 
if it's false, if, um, if, it has, if it's not greater than or equal to 175, I want to make that a negative 1. So I'll go ahead and uh, close parentheses. And now I need to press Control Enter. So now I'm going to have either a 1, positive 1, or a negative 1. Let me go ahead and actually add an extra column here. That's probably too close to each other. Just for some separation, I'll probably want to add an extra column. I'll go ahead. The, it, when I entered that column, it gave me the formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the formatting there and kind of bring this in a little bit. And what I want to do here now, next to uh, this particular uh, range of cells, is this is where I want to enter in the sparkline. So I'll go under the Insert tab, and in, under the Sparkline group, I want to insert the Win Loss. So the data range that I'm going to take uh, is this one here. And then the location range, I've already selected that cell, so that's fine. So if I click OK, it's going to give me the sparkline for that. And I can just drag the fill handle down here, and it will copy it down. So it sees that it this did not meet, this did not meet, and this spent the monthly go. So it kind of is right here. So we have um, this didn't meet, this did not meet, and this met the monthly go here. And the same for uh, the other cells here. This one, none of them met except the first one. And you can see 196 uh, didn't meet the monthly go. So there's some formatting that we need to do here now. And so what I need to, need to do is I'll just go ahead and select the range of cells, go under design. And for the sparkline color, I'm going to go ahead and make that green. And so the negative, the negative values are given a red color. If I didn't like that color, maybe I can change it. Maybe I can change it to orange, and it will change it to orange. But I think red gives it a, a, a better contrast with the green, so I'll press Control-Z to undo that. Now, what I can do now is I can go ahead and hide uh, this range of cells. So I select the columns here, right-click, and click Hide. But you'll see, after I click Hide, the spark lines had disappeared. And the reason why they disappeared is there needs to be an extra setting uh, that is checked off to make sure that anything that's hidden will not hide uh, the spark lines. So let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. And I'll go ahead and select the spark lines again. And under the spark line tools, go to design. And under edit data here, I'm going to go ahead and click hidden and empty cells. And I'm going to go ahead and check that off where it says if there are hidden rows and columns, uh, still show the data. So I'll click OK. Now, I'm, now I can go ahead and hide this column, select that, right click, and click hide. And you, now you notice that those spark lines are still there. And so I, can, I need to put some text here. So I'll go ahead and put go, uh, let's see, go met, go met. And then I'll separate that uh, not met. Now I can make it onto a different line. So I'll go ahead and uh, make this first one. Use the Alt Enter. That gets put as a carriage return. There's another line there. And then for this one, Alt Enter. And that's another one. So I'm going to adjust the font color here of Met to green. I'm going to select that. And you see this little mini toolbar shows up. I'll go ahead and select that as green. And then I'll select Not Met here. And the mini toolbar shows up. Uh, I'll go ahead and select that as red. And then let me go ahead and press Enter. And now we have that set. So I can go ahead and kind of widen this a little bit so it looks a little bit better and maybe center that. All right? And maybe I'll put some uh, borders around here. So let me go ahead and just put some borders around here. Go ahead and click that under the Home tab, under the Font group. Let me go ahead and just put the borders around there. So now I have my borders around there. And so you will see that this works. So if I change February to 175, that should, that particular uh, win loss spark line, that should turn green. And you see that it does. And uh, it's just because the values, let me go ahead and unhide this, select that range of columns, unhide. You'll see that the value here has changed from a negative one to a positive one. And that's why that has turned green. But that is one way. Let me go and select this and hide it again. Right click and hide. So that's one, another way that we can uh, use or spark lines, win loss spark lines, to display uh, actuals uh, versus target or go. So this kind of gives us an in cell representation uh, of whether or not uh, that particular uh, actual was met for that month. So there you have it. There's two ways that we can display go achievement um, one using conditional formatting here, and the other one using uh, spark lines. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.